Hello friends, this is Jalpesh here and welcome again to my channel Code with Jay. In this video, we are going to see the hot reloading feature which is introduced in .NET Core 6 and Visual Studio 2022. So let's get started. So the agenda for this particular video is uh, hot reloading in Visual Studio 2022. So we are going to see what is the hot reloading, how it works and uh, uh, we are going to see a demo with the Visual Studio 2022 and dotnet 6 so what are you waiting for let's get directly jump into the v studio so i'm going to open the v studio 2022 and i am going to create a new project so here you can see i either you can search from here like asp.net core web so i am going to search for that so here is the asp.net core model view controller app or you can directly choose from the recent project template also so we are going to say hot reload app okay? and then we are going to click on next here uh, you can see like there are two versions which is installed in my current laptop and uh, i am going to select the dotnet 6 because hot reloading works only with the dotnet 6 and here we are not going to select any authentication type and we also don't require the https because right now we are not concerned about the security so what i am going to do is create a simple web app so while it's creating that particular uh, web application project let's under understand what is the hot reload so if you are familiar with the node applications how if you are developing a node application there is a command or there is an npm package called nodemon so what it will do is uh, like uh, whenever you make any changes into your js file it will recompile that and reload the, the ch uh, changes into the browser itself so developer does not have to recompile every time so this is the same kind of functionality there in with sp.net core uh, 6.0 so here what they have done is like they have enabled uh, hot reloading and uh, uh, basically like uh, once you make any changes into the your CS files, it will reload uh, by default in the browser itself. So let's check how it works. So uh, for that here, you can see now the project is created. Okay. And this is a basic uh, simple project. So there is a home controller there. And so this is the basic uh, home controller there. And uh, this all are the views and other stuffs there, right? Now let's run this application. So what I need to do is like I, I am going to start without debugging the app. So it is going to restore the NuGet package and then it's going to run that particular application. So here you can see like build is succeeded and it's going to load application into Visual Studio. Oh sorry, not Visual Studio. It's, it's going to load uh, that particular app in the browser. So here you can see like uh, this is a pretty standard basic app right now if i change something here like let's say i am uh, going to pass a home view in the privacy right so right now it's nothing nothing is happening because but if you select this one and put this hot reload thing and here i am going to put the index one now you can see so once uh, if you see uh, the home and privacy is loading the same view because I have put at the index there and if I put if I remove this it will reload the privacy so that is the difference so like lots of people will ask like what what are the difference between this and .NET watch which is available earlier so now if you can see here there is a hot reload app.exe right so here you can see the process id is 1704 right now if i change it back to index so here uh, you can see like the router is home privacy but it's loading the index view but here uh, you can see like the process id is not changed so in the earlier version of the dotnet core uh, it will it will shut down this particular a process and then again it will start the, it with the new process so it was taking lots of time so here in the dotnet 6 they have uh, consumed uh, less time and uh, that way like uh, you can increase the productivity because uh, that is going to be super fast 
once uh, your uh, lab is loading so here if i put uh, privacy and here you can see now if i click on home it is going to load the privacy and here it is going to load the home one so that is the things uh, there i hope you like this particular video and if you like this particular video then please do subscribe to my channel that is uh, code with jerry and hope to see you in the next video thank you for watching